And boy, isn't that easier than shoveling it. Hey, welcome back friends. So today's video, I'm up early and we are getting a new load of gravel here at the permanent site. So kind of going to take you through the short process of what to order, how to order. And then uh, but right now I've got to get this rig out of the way because we definitely want gravel under the rig as well, not just here on the campsite. So we had been here in a few weeks, need some cleaning up, let me get it cleaned up and get this rig out of the way. And then I'll tell you all about the gravel and uh, you can watch them put it down as well. Stay tuned. All right guys, so you can kind of see the before here, I just kind of may do, cause we knew we were getting some gravel or a deck, maybe do it, we're probably gonna do a deck as well. But this is before picture. Slippery rugs holding up good so far. We've had it out here since, um, I guess March, holding up good. I may have to move the fire ring, not sure about that yet. I'll ask the dump truck driver when he gets here. But if I do, again, the way that thing's built, you guys saw it in a video before, uh, I can just pick it up and move it. Uh, these are my firewood containers. Hopefully eventually we get a little firewood rack here and we hope to do some pavers back here for the Blackstone and the little Weber grill. Uh, this was a gift, so that's the reason I went with that. And I had one of these on hand. So yeah, kind of a before picture. I gotta get rid of some of these weeds, get those out of the way, get this rug up, get the picnic table moved, and then we'll be ready to lay down some gravel. All right guys, so one tip is uh, if you get gravel, make sure to get a spreader truck. And that's what we've got here. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched them do this before, so. I'm glad that I moved the, uh, the fire ring. And boy, isn't that easier than shoveling it. I'll tell you, that's, uh, that's much better than shoveling it, boys. And girls. Something tells me this guy's done this before. I mean, look at that line. <laughs> That's impressive, I gotta say. What I may do is see if he'll do another round here because this is a little bit lower. So he'll probably get out and ask me about that. So we just spoke and we're gonna get a little bit more here on the uh, backside of the campsite since it's a little lower back here. His tires are gonna trench that a little bit because of the weight of the truck, but I'll just rake it out. We should be fine.
as you can see the spreader truck is well worth a little couple of extra dollars i think i paid an extra 60 or 80 dollars for the spreader truck and that's a no-brainer you can see there's a little conveyor belt in there right at the bottom of that v there's a conveyor belt feeding every single rock out that's crazy All right, I gotta say that uh, that spreader truck was awesome to watch. But yeah, I mean, look at the line that it, it's almost like it's a straight line. That's how good that truck is. And uh, put it on pretty thick back here in the back. So we'll see how the rig does. I'm about to uh, pull the rig back in and get everything set up. Planning on being here in a few weeks to uh, have a lot of family members up here and get her all set up so we don't have to do that when we get here now a couple things you look at the gravel here i went with a number seven gravel which is not pea gravel it's a size up from pea gravel and basically this is much less likely to get stuck in the soles of your shoes and tracked into the into the camper uh, it also packs down well you can see even at heavy truck hardly left any trenches there's a couple right here but uh, I'm going to rake those out right quick, and then uh, I'm going to replace the fire pit over here. I went ahead and moved that. going to replace that, and uh, yeah, just get everything rocking and rolling. I'll show it to you when we're done. Okay, friends, here we are. Got it all back back in. Got my fire pit back in, put in a deck box back here, and she's coming along nicely. We're still thinking about putting a deck right here, but yeah, I don't know. We This looks pretty good. Now this is as good as it ought to look. Brand new gravel. We do need a good hard rain to come along and get uh, knock the dust down a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, I thought it came out very nice. What a difference a load of gravel makes. Now, if you want to do something like this, this lot is about uh, probably about 90 feet long and 25 feet wide or so, maybe a little wider than that. And I got three quarters of a load, which ended up being about 13 tons cost me a little over $600 uh, that's local here in northern Georgia uh, you know it's gonna be different wherever you go I'm sure but I think the load of gravel made all the difference gonna keep the bugs down gonna keep everything from splashing up on the rig when it rains once it rains a few times but now now it's time to give this old girl a bath so I'll do that next time we're here but yeah I just wanted to show you the before and after and uh, just the process of getting a load of gravel placed on a permanent lot if you're thinking about it now we do still move around guys if this is the first time you're watching our channel uh, we have another rv that we travel with but this one stays here in northern georgia for the times that we want to be spontaneous hop in the truck and come on up anyway guys i hope you enjoyed watching the uh, spreader truck i know i did and if this video was useful as always consider subscribing see ya